we're waiting. We're just all ready for sort of uh, some type of normality to come back and being able to open up the gardens again and having visitors. I mean, that's what this house and these gardens are for. They're for people to come and visit. And so we really hope that um, the preparations that we're making now uh, will in turn uh, <laughs> be the right preparations and that we can open up. So I thought today that I would give you just an update on sort of everyday life here at Mapperton while we're under lockdown. Still life goes on. So there are some things obviously allowed during lockdown in particular. One of them is works being done. So we do have people in, builders in, we're obviously very careful working on what's happening downstairs, which I'm gonna show you. So this is the door to the cellar. We've never ever done anything down here before until now. So I'm just, I'm gonna mask up now, Barry's down there, and kind of explain to you what's happening down here. It's quite nice and warm too, even though it's freezing outside. All right, okay, hopefully you can still hear me, mask and all. Okay. So, hey, Hi. just coming down, we're just doing a little filming, don't mind us. Okay. So we've repainted all of this, just to make it obviously a little bit smarter. We've just repainted. We're gonna keep though, for now, the stone staircase. We're not gonna do anything with that. Um, moving down, we've just repainted the doors. So the cellar is going to be, and again, we'll be giving you a, another big update on the cellar on when it's actually finished. But it's gonna be where we do a lot of the filming, uh, some of the filming, I should say for uh, our new Mapperton TV channel. And in here, hey Barry. Oh, yeah. In here is Barry, who's in charge of it all. And this is gonna be our voiceover booth. So this is gonna be padded out with whatever you need in order to make it a voiceover booth. But it's already looking smarter. We've already put, what's this called, Barry? This, uh, t t you know, this sort of kind of paneling. Um, it's like, t I don't know. I mean, I should know, but it's a, a nice but paneling. It's a hardboard type thing. It's hard, yeah, exactly. So it's nice paneling being done there. And then in here, again, we're still airing it out, but the door has been repainted, a nice dark color. Uh, the, everything here has been obviously repainted. That has been smoothed over at the very, very end. This has been smoothed over. So, uh, so you've got sort of like a nice white wall to do filming. You can make it a green screen. I know it sounds very echoey. The reason is, is because obviously the way that it's shaped, we do get some sunlight in from the windows, but we're gonna be putting in, um, uh, we'll be putting in a floor. Some, I think the floor is like a timber flooring. We're putting in a timber flooring and that will help with the echo. And then we also have uh, other things that we're gonna do to help with the echo. Clearly this isn't finished because we need the floor to go in, but this is also where I am gonna start doing um, my yoga as well. So all my yoga will be happening down here and you're gonna see why in a second on why it needs to happen down here. So this, again, not finished. You know, it's like halfway through, the flooring is gonna be a big project. Um, this is, we're gonna, we, and we might make this, it, at least for the kids right here, we might put in, um, uh, we're thinking of putting like a foosball table or something like that, just in this area here. But these two rooms definitely are gonna be sort of work rooms. All right, we're heading back up. Thanks everybody. It's looking good. Yeah. Looking good. Brilliant. Okay, so now, okay, I'm gonna take off my mask. Whew. All right, so now I'm gonna show you where, well, what's happening outside. There's always something happening here, but what we're doing to get ready to um, come out of lockdown, fingers crossed soon. So I'm just gonna grab my coat and I'll meet you guys outside. 
So I had done an earlier update where we actually thought that was going to be the new yoga studio. That was the intention. But the more that we got the builders involved to really look at it, it wasn't a good idea because in particular, um, A, to heat it, like near impossible. I mean, you have to have little heaters in. But the roof on top of it is quite flimsy. And there wasn't, I need to be able to lift my arms up. And there just wasn't a lot of space in there. So we decided that the cellar was definitely the best. Plus, if I was in there, I'd be able to hear sounds all around and it wouldn't be um, so soundproof, whereas the cellar is much, much, much more soundproof. So this is where, this is our, as you guys know, our Coach House Cafe. This is where we have events. This is where um, we have weddings but obviously we haven't had any weddings for a year and um, nor have we, well, we did open for a little bit, of course, and that was really exciting, but we haven't been able to really, we, we've closed everything down since last November. And we're not sure when we get to open back up. Oh, good, the heat's on. Oh, goodness, I left it on. Um, but hopefully soon. So this is where I have been teaching yoga so i have and i'm gonna put this cord up so i have to the wi-fi is quite like i mean we're getting it all like i don't even know at fiber optic up but for the time being i usually have to connect that cord into my camera here which then goes through there i've got heaters everywhere because sometimes i don't have the the main heating on anyway it's just like but oh here are my lights Brilliant, so I use these lights when I teach at night, and those can go right over there. So this is not going to happen anymore. I'm not gonna be teaching here anymore. I'm gonna be teaching as soon as that cellar gets done down the cellar. But we did, for the kids, we put in a ping pong table. So they have a ping pong table. But again, this will all have to be cleared out. Oh, this is, I don't know, something. Um, this will all have to be cleared out once we can hopefully start to open up back to the public, although we don't know when that is, but we're hoping sometime in the spring, uh, and I'll probably have more of an update on that for you. So this is, again, oh, it's cold in here. But what we've done, because we're not using uh, where our old gift shop used to be, which was then gonna be the yoga studio, which is not gonna be the yoga studio because that goes down in the cellar, but we, when we, um, had to close down for the first time last year. There's so many, there, we've had so many lockdowns here. We moved the shop and then we reopened. We moved the shop into here and it worked out really well. So what we've done is we've had shelves built and this is gonna be permanently where our shop will be. So our shop, you can see these lovely shelves have been built and oh, there's a yoga mat over there too. I wanna get that one out. I'm just gonna pull out this yoga mat. Okay, so behind here, so, okay, yeah. I've been looking for this. Um, this is a nice one. So this is basically where we're gonna be doing the pop-up shop. It's not even a pop-up shop, this is where the shop's gonna be. So we are, in a sense, getting ready to hopefully open back up uh, in the spring. We don't know when, but we're ready to put stock there. We're ready to have people come back to the cafe if we can. Then obviously my yoga would have to move down to the cellar, which it will. So that's what's happening in as far as us getting ready for, you know, the openings of things, which we hope will happen. A little ping pong, a little get this ball. Um, look at me, I'm like straightening things out. So then let's just take a little walk now. I'm just gonna show you, because it still is winter, technically. Um, I'm gonna show you, though, that spring is on its way. So that's why we're getting kind of ready to hopefully be able to open something. We don't know to what extent, but to open something. Let Steven get through, okay. Let me see, it's still cold. It's sunny, but it's cold. So lots of things are starting to peer up. And we're gonna head on over to, oh yeah, see it is a nice day, it's just a bit, it's just a bit windy. So we're gonna head on over through the gardens 
and show you that spring, in a sense, in, in particular, the, um, the formal gardens and see uh, what's happening there. And, and again, we're getting ready to hopefully open back up, whether it's just the gardens, whether it's the gardens and maybe some of the cafe, maybe it's takeaway, who knows. But I think we're definitely really hoping that the gardens will be able to open back up. I'm looking for all the signs of spring, but we're just gonna head into the formal gardens now. So the Italian at formal gardens, and it's really lovely. You've got sheep there uh, grazing away. So those are Mapperton sheep. You'll be able to see the freezing cold pool down below. I go into that pool even when it's this cold every other day. I do it every other day. So again, you, I can really start to see though, in particular, uh, on that tree down below, um, things starting to really bloom. Oh, look at the sheep. Stephen, are we getting a good shot of those sheep? They're brilliant. But something, you can see some things are still, obviously, uh, the gardening team has kept many things still covered up because it still is quite cold. Oh, there we go. Look at, look at all of those snowdrops. So eventually, oh, I'm just going to climb over. So the snowdrops are here now. So the snowdrops are here now, but you can see what's coming up here. So these are the daffodils are coming up. And this will be a, a sheet of yellow. Oh, there's one here. Should we go and get it? That's how you know. Oh, I can see a lot of them coming up. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Look at all of these daffodils definitely making their way up. With one has decided, the lone daffodil has decided to bloom earlier than, than anybody else. It was like, I'm ready to come out. These are a couple here. I'm looking to see what else is sort of budding and sprouting. We head down here. Is this okay for you, Stephen? Um, technically, I probably shouldn't be going down these banks, but don't tell anybody. And again, we've got some winter foliage here, winter flowers here, all taking shape. But I do love it when, so how that bank goes is it's, it's basically the snowdrops and then the daffodils and then a variation of daisies. Yep. So it's amazing how it does that all the way across in the different seasons. It's just absolutely wonderful. I do see a few more daffodils up there at the top all across the banks, but look at the snowdrops just dotted everywhere. So this is really winter here at Mapperton. Still a lot to see. Things obviously you can see up on this bank getting ready. Let's head on up here. And so hopefully we'll be able to open to the public um, when the daffodils are in full bloom. But the snowdrops are, are, are very, very pretty as well. So yeah, so that is, yeah, I mean, we're waiting. We're just all ready for sort of some type of normality to come back and being able to open up the gardens again and having visitors. I mean, that's what this house and these gardens are for. They're for people to come and visit. And so we really hope that um, the preparations that we're making now uh, will in turn uh, <laughs> be the right preparations and that we can open up. So I think Stephen's just gonna give you a nice little pan of the gardens around just to see what they look like in winter. Still absolutely beautiful. I mean, that's the, the other thing is, as my mother-in-law would always say, people go visit a house once, but they come to visit a garden three to four times a year because of the different seasons. So bye everybody. I hope you enjoyed just this little update of kind of uh, what is happening here on a daily basis here at Mapperton as we hopefully get ready to on lockdown and uh, welcome visitors once again. Thank you to every single one of my patrons for all of your support. And of course, those of you in the top tier. So Sean and Robert, Cheryl, Sherry, and Angeline, 
thank you all so much. Your generous support goes such a long way in helping to produce these videos. And of course, uh, so that others can see um, really the, the wonderful magic of England's heritage. Bye everybody.